Hi, welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where I try one new thing a week and post however it has turned out. I hope to inspire you to try something new of your own or make you laugh through however my stuff turns out. I post a new video every Tuesday. Please like the video, please share. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all my current subscribers. In this week's video, I am going to be making a hat. My daughter grew out of this sundress and we have a stain somewhere on it. So I don't really want to give it away. So I'm going to be turning it into a hat. I wanted to turn it into like just a big floppy sun hat for her. But when we Googled DIY hats, she saw some like bonnet looking ones. So she would ask for a bonnet. So I'm going to make it a mix between like a floppy sun hat and a floppy bonnet. So she would love it and she would actually wear the bonnet out in public. So <laughs> I don't want it to look too bonnet-esque. Let's get started. So I'm gonna be cutting this upper portion off and the lining is attached to the buttons. So I was actually hoping to save those, but I think I'm just going to cut that right out and then do a couple seams. Okay, so I zigzag the three edges. Now I'm doing a seam. And for the pre-made seams on the dress, I think I'm going to fold it up and create a seam there and hide that also. Just pretty it up on both sides. So I'm just doing basic assembly right now. Okay, so I have pleated everything. I have both sides looking somewhat nice. I am actually have as attempted to just put an elastic through the top and turn it into a cute little jean skirt for her. However, I have made skirts before, so that's defeating the purpose. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna press this end that's all scrunched up and then I'm literally just going to gather this entire length together and try to piece it together from there. I do still have some raw edges here, but I'm not sure the overall shape yet, so I'm gonna leave that open for me now. I'm gonna catch you up to speed. Instead of ruching, I just wove a ribbon through it and then tied it. Found a wire and I wove that through the entire end. So I do still need to make a pleat over these raw edges going this way. There's two of them and the raw edges at the end. Hi guys. <laughs> and then once this is has a seam on it, I am gonna pleat those down. This thing is massive. It has a very wide brim. So Mallory would actually like to model it for you. So I'm just gonna adjust the camera. I think that's gonna look awesome. Look how cute you look. So we might play around with the brim and bend it so it's a little bit smaller. But I think that looks great. On my head. No, it's like a bonnet. It goes on the back. And she asked for it to be bedazzled and to have a pocket. So we're gonna do all that also. Okay, so another update. So I have all the seams that I wanted done, created, that end ruched, and then I also stitched the outer edge to the tiered seams together to scrunch it in a little bit more. However, it is still, oh, and we added some of the beads that we had around the house. I don't have a bedazzler. I've never done bedazzling, but I probably went on a different video, but it's still really massive on her and the brim is falling down obviously because it's not supported by cardboard like hats normally are. So what I am going to do is take the two ends, sew them together, pop it through the middle and stitch all that together and then it, it's actually still so massive that it still fits her that way and then I'll just sew all of the ends together and then this will stay up and out of her face and she'll probably have the bonnet that she would like. She does not want the bottom chin strap ribbon thing. Yeah so we're getting there bit by bit. I'll just keep updating you. Here's the back and this is how the inside now looks and everything is holding itself up. She hasn't tried it on yet. She knew my game plan and she was fine with it. And if I can 
add a picture of her wearing it before I finish editing the video, then I will. But yeah, she is super excited. She loved it when it was a big, big brim, but it just kept flopping down in her face. So I do think this will be a lot more functional as a half sun hat, half bonnet. Yeah, she's in love with it. She's calling it her wacky hat. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't, don't, don't.